Hi guys, welcome to What's Mama Cooking For Us. And today I'm making, um, I don't know, I have another potato salad recipe on Facebook as well. I mean, I'm sorry, on YouTube as well. It's um, video number 48 if you want to go check that out. But that's like my mother's potato salad. And this is just um, um, another way to make potato salad as well. I call it kind of like my soul food potato salad. But uh, this is, I boiled the potatoes whole, about five pounds. And um, I just cut them up a lot smaller than I did in my other video. So we're cutting these pretty small. You let your potatoes boil about an hour, you know, just so they're fork tender and not mushy. And I also have eight eggs that I put in here already. And I think I said five pounds of potatoes. Okay, then we're going to start with salt. We need lots of salt because it's a lot of potatoes. So we're going to start, I don't usually measure, but we're going to start with a teaspoon. Yeah, most likely we'll need another teaspoon of that. We're going to start with a half a tablespoon of pepper. Let's see. I'll probably put another half. <laughs> Sorry, but this is how I have to do it because I don't usually measure. I just go by look. Definitely a tablespoon of parsley. One and a half tablespoons, we'll say. Um, we're going to go with tablespoon of mustard maybe a little bit more yeah a little bit more and relish I don't usually measure this either but I'm gonna try about a half a cup see where that brings us I mean I'm sorry that was a third of a cup yeah and probably two of those two two one-third cups and we did the mustard we got everything in there now we'll do the mayonnaise and I'll start off with one cup of mayonnaise that looks so good already this is for our Easter dinner I make a collard greens baked beans uh, I did another pasta salad, Italian pasta salad. You can find that on my video too and my beans, my baked beans. So that's one cup. And I kind of have a feeling we're going to need more than one cup. So I need another spatula. Hold on. <laughs> we'll use this one. It's probably going to be this whole container. Oh, it looks like it. What I'll do is put half in first and we'll see. We'll go from there. So that was like three-fourths. Oh, I said I was only going to do about half. <laughs> Get that out of there. So we, we got one and a half so far. <laughs> Oh, man overboard. Okay. Oh, I forgot all these goodies. I got probably a little over a quarter cup of green peppers. We're going to start with about a half a cup of white onions. And about a half cup of celery. We'll see. We might need more. Forgot all those. And if I forgot to say, eight eggs. But I boiled 12 because I'm going to put some on top. I definitely can see we need more relish. So <laughs> this jar is 10 ounces. I kind of think we're going to put it all in there. Yeah, 10 ounces. Sweet relish, guys. Sweet relish. In case I didn't say that. 
And I'm going to put the rest of the mayonnaise. So we ended up putting one cup and then three-fourths of a cup, which was actually this whole container, 15 ounces real mayonnaise. And this dries up overnight, so you it's okay to leave it a little moist like it looks right now. It looks a little loose, in my opinion. And like I said, it thickens up. This is going in the fridge. We're having it for Easter dinner tomorrow. And I'm definitely going to put another tablespoon of salt, too, because we need another tablespoon of salt. And remember, it's a lot of potatoes. So, I don't think I'm crazy. Potatoes need a lot of salt. And I think I'm going to add another tablespoon of mustard. So, if you put one in the beginning and then a half. So, now we're going to do another whole tablespoon. I just kind of go by look and how it looks, how it tastes. Then I decide <laughs> the adjustments. But we got to get really down in the bottom there really good. Make sure we're getting everything completely covered. And I think that's good to have a taste. So let me taste it and see where we're at. Ooh. Very good. <laughs> it is a little salty. <laughs> so just go with one and a half. And it definitely needs some more pepper. So we'll go with about another half a t uh, tablespoon of pepper. But it probably won't taste salty tomorrow. It tastes a little bit, tiny bit salty to me right now. But once it marinates in and it gets all together it'll probably be fine oh my goodness this looks so good okay I'm gonna give it another taste just to check the seasoning again okay that's good mmm it tastes better tomorrow as well. And now what I'm going to do, scoot you over there, and I'm going to put it in one of these tins. I always buy these tins when we're doing these for parties or like holidays. And then I'll put that right in there. Mmm. I could have mixed it up right in this tin, but I didn't know if it was going to overflow it a little. So that way I do it in the bowl just in case so I can mix better. But I think we did pretty good. Okay, and then I just mixed the bottom a little. So and then I flatten it out a little. Or a lot. <laughs> so we can put some eggs on top of it. There we go. Beautiful. And we'll slice some eggs on top. I got four of them. The yolk. So I know when I go to parties, I love to get an egg on top of my... Oh, put that yolk back in there. On top of my little scoop. So I kind of just put them around about where everyone's going to grab a scoop. And we got a lot of people eating, but this will probably last us for the next day as well. So, make a lot. The more the merrier. It tastes good the next day. And two days after that, too. Whoops. And here comes my little doggy, Justice. He's trotting out here to see what's going on.
There we go. Let me get my hands off. And let's put some paprika on top. Or a lot of paprika. Make it look pretty. And it tastes good. And there you have it. I'm going to wrap it in some uh, saran wrap on the top. And it's all set to go to the party. Well, for uh, um, <laughs> Easter. So there you have it. Um, I hope you like this one. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Be blessed and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, guys.